Well, Brindle, I bet you wish you were back in Heraklion now, don't you? The rate the water's pouring in. Here's only enough time to talk about what happened last time on the Encourageable Part. So I'll, I'll take the potion out, I'll drink it. I'll s sort of let it, let it settle for a second. Stick my head down in the water and try to breathe in and see if I'm okay. And you take a big breath in and you start choking on the water. Brendel's been attacking this whole time. He just hasn't hit shit. And uh, that's not about to change as he only gets a nine. With his what? <laughs> Brendel! But he is going to continue to, to run. Falls I, I will be back for you. I'll be back for you too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like halfway between the beast and Brendel. So, slow moving. I'll, I'll be back for you, Falzerin. <laughs> <She kinda, laughs> oh, man. She kind of like half says it jokingly. <laughs> yes, 16, baby. I'm just picturing this friend climbing into his mouth and doing <laughs> and putting bandages and stuff on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that way's blocked. Well. See what being a nice guy gets you? Dead. If I ever get out of here, I'm gonna be looking out for number one from now on. So now the adventure continues. You know what Bryn actually does for medicine checks? She just like goes in there, grabs him, and like smacks him in the face really hard. <laughs> just <laughs> smack, like wake up. Okay, so Falzern, you are stable. Okay. You have one point or do you still stay asleep? He's unconscious. He's unconscious, so he's technically at zero. But unfortunately, Bryn, now you're inside of this, so you're at the end of your turn, you take 12 acid damage from its digestive juices. Oh, I don't get to, like, dash out of there or whatever, my bonus? Um, no, so you going in and just kind of struggling to get into its throat is kind of your your uh, your full... Sorry, I had assumed you were trying to use everything it's you okay. had. I didn't Do I actually. I didn't dodge in. the acid damage? <laughs> Or does it not uh, no, I'm afraid you <laughs> you can't uncanny dodge. When I see damage. it attack me, I get half damage. <laughs> I saw it attack me. So okay, let's go to Falzer. So we did skip him. So Falzer, and you are stable. You don't have to make your death saving throw. But at the end of your turn, you also take the acid damage, okay. which puts you back into a dying condition. Okay. So then now at the start of your next so turn, I've if you're not my stable. Successes and failures. Uh, yes, yes. Is that how that works? Yeah, I mean, I she would stabilize so. him, right? All right. Do you guys want to know how much health I have left? <laughs> should have, should have hacked through the side. Blind There's, leading the blind. I didn't want to hack open the little babies. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's just go to the top and we'll do shaft to get here. <laughs> well, this I don't is think. Ridiculous. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Before shaft goes. Brenda, There's actually more useless? more collapse, yeah. I think we would have been screwed enough without this creature, Leland. Why is the <laughs> big question. So everyone is aware, what I'm actually doing is I made I made 10 points around this map, and basically I'm rolling randomly for these collapses. So any of this misfortune is literally from the roll of a die. I'm rolling a <laughs> d10, and that's dictating where is getting collapsed. I mean, that 20 damage round. from the collapse saved Falzern's life, yeah, which I, is crazy random. I think that's a cool way to do it. But this actual collapse, one more in your favor, it would seem, as the walls between this chamber with the giant uh, breath pod and the chamber where your crab subs are, the walls kind of collapse in on each other. <laughs> so more, more water is still pouring in now, even more water, but it does seem there is a narrow passageway you could possibly scramble over this coral and squeeze through. Okay. Falls and I would both fit. Yes, so because of the height of these chambers, there's mm -hmm. a there's like a, a two or three foot section you can try to worm your way through. Okay. Um, okay, so shaft. You're at the top. There is now four and a half feet of water. Okay, I already moved my 25 up to and I'm just at the coral. Okay. So uh, I don't think I can uh, hit it from there. You want a hand crossbow it? Uh, no. 
<laughs> okay, Bryn. Yeah. So you have a hold of Falsy. I have a hold of him. You are you 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 can now use your action to grab him and pull him out of this dead, decaying, quickly deflating as well as its body yes. is kind of just slowly collapsing. So it can take my action to grab and get out of to pull him. Yeah, you can your action okay. will be the pull Falzer and out of this thing. And then after I get out of it, do I still have a bonus action? Yes. Okay, so I'm getting the heck out of there. And once I'm out of there, do I see this little passageway? You kind of see at the top, you see um, kind of the... I didn't really... Actually, we never really described what the lighting is on here. Is kind of uh, amongst the, the coral walls, there's kind of like this um, this fungi that are giving off this, this low glow. And you can kind of see the glow from this other... Um, chamber that had the smaller breathing pods in their little pools. Kind of see it shining through the the water that is raining down. My second question is, how tall is the water again? The water was, what did I say? Four and a half feet, I thought you said. Yeah. And I have a bonus action, but can I also take my potion? Or no, I have to do one or the other. That would be your action. Oh, it'd be a it'd be a full action. It's an action to take that potion. Okay, well I'm swimming because I'm four foot eight, so okay. I swim towards that tunnel. Okay, and you're kind of towing Falzern's floating unconscious yeah, body. <laughs> floating body. He's a good swimmer. <laughs> when he's awake, <laughs> <You're floating. laughs> yeah. How far? So I can move three squares, I'm guessing, but it's hard to tell. So I don't know if you just want to move me. So you kind of come out right out of its mouth, dragging Falzerin. So you can make it up and through, kind of pulling Falzerin. And now as you get up under this coral, you know, it's not like submerged as you're rising out of it. His, his head kind of bonk, 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 you know, as if you're pulling up a <laughs> set of stairs. Yeah. Pulling his body and you get to the crest of it. Now you can see into the chamber with, with the subs. And you see, though, actually one of the subs, a section of coral has fallen onto it and is, is kind of covering it. And, um... That's kind of your turn, right? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, Falsy, make a death saving throw. 18. Okay, excellent. Brendel, wow, Brendel just kind of witnessed Bryn <laughs> dive into this thing and pull Falls and out. So Brendel, okay, Brendel's going to follow Shaft. So he actually, Brendel's actually going to dive into the water here and actually start swimming instead of walking. I'm guessing he's better at swimming? And he does. Shaft, you kind of see behind you, you hear Brendel kind of, you know, breaststroking around this tunnel and making really good ground, much better ground than him just walking on the slimy surface. Oh, wow. And you see him kind of behind you, and that was, he did use his action to dash, so. Okay. Okay, Shaft, back to you. I'm going to start beating on this uh, this coral. All right. And see if I can uh, clear a pathway. So how do you want to do this? It has an AC, so just make an attack. Okay, that is a 23. Okay, yeah, definitely. Yeah, beat that coral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just want to go full bore with all three of your... Yeah, if you don't mind, I'll yeah, do it at the same time. Okay, that's a 22. Another 22. Okay, so all three hits. Nice. 23 points of damage. Okay, yes, that is enough to, to start clacking. You don't completely clear it, obviously, but you kind of make this, like, foot and a half crevice that you definitely could squeeze through. Brendel might have a little more trouble, but you have now kind of made this this opening. Can I use the rest of my movement? Yeah, absolutely. And of course, all the, all the water kind of flows into it and, you know, the, the levels on either side of this blockage kind of level out. Good job. Bryn. Okay, um, how, sorry that I'm forgetting. How do I help save Falzern again? Can I help stabilize him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it takes your action again. So just make that medicine check, ten or above. Nat twenty, baby. Okay. So that's twenty-two. Falzern, you are stable. Um, and then I will use the rest, my bonus, to move us into this uh, original cavern with the towards the undamaged-looking crab. Okay. So is that the one closest to me? Is undamaged or the one further away? Uh, so yeah, the actual one further. Yeah, the the token has a white background, so it's actually kind of covering up the, the coral I put there. Oh, okay. So, one, two, three. Like, we can make it there, would you say? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Shaft broke through. Can I see him? 
Hey, yeah, buddy. you do. You see him. He is squeezed through. Maybe you know what? There's what like the four. Hell? He's like floating, right? So we do like a wave. Like <laughs> yeah, get over bobbing. here. <laughs> and he sees falls her in like my little buoy behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so falls her in. Yeah, falls her in is unconscious but stable. So Brendel swims up, and yeah, he he tries to squeeze through as well. But he makes it about halfway through this blockage, and he actually gets stuck. Ah, oh, uh, uh, sh- Shaft! Shaft, uh, I, I, I seem to have a problem here. Please, please, help me. And uh, that is back to the top of Shaft. Him. <laughs> Th- this Leave is a moral him. dilemma, isn't it? <laughs> please, please, Shaft, you're, only, you're five feet away. You please. <laughs> you're my only hope. <laughs> how, how stuck does he look? He, he, he's got, like, one arm, like, on the other side of this blockage here, but, like, his chest is clearly, like, compressed and he's Would Bryn uh, have restricted. heard Brendel's cry? Absolutely. Shaft, stop being a prick and help him out! <laughs> uh, I'm right there. I'll grab him. Grab onto his hand, and I'll try to pull him out. Okay. Make, make a, make a, you, you can make an athletics if you're trained, but otherwise it's the strength. Chef literally did nothing but attack Coral, and he doesn't want to stick his hand 13. out. Okay, with, with Brendel, his own, with Brendel, of course, helping, like, and push himself through, you're able to pull him and get him unstuck. Okay, is that my action? Yeah, that would be your action, so you still have your movement. All right. I, I yank him through till he sort of falls into the water, and then I swim as fast as I can the other direction. Okay. Bryn? All right, so I think if I move in bonus dash we can make it to this uh, functioning or no wait you said the one functioning is closer to me sorry so I can get there right away yeah Absolutely. so I'm hopping it's uh is it high enough up the water if I open the hatch like water's not going to go into it or well remember these things float oh they float right so we'll swim up to it and uh I forget how the hatch opens there's a, a latch that you uh, know where it is, so it's easy for you to find it. I got my lever, up. my lever thing here, but there's so no yeah, you're you're able to so. find find the latch and open it up. Sounds good. And can I drag Falzerin's carcass into <laughs> the crab? It's not a carcass yet. <laughs> you can get both you and Falzerin into the into the sub. Awesome. And I holler at Shaft. Come on, guys, get in. You see the dilemma here. What? If, if I would have already went around the corner, Brindle would have still been stuck in the coral. Yeah? Because there's not enough room for four of us. Oh, there definitely is. If three of you f- fit... There is not room for all four of you in one, but the second one isn't look like it's destroyed. It's just... It just had something crash onto it. It's not well, completely destroyed. In Brynn's okay. mind, we're going to try to fit everyone in, and... She knows for sure Shaft could fit. Like once falls her and her in there, so that's true. Yes, you could leave Brendel behind. I guess. Well, <laughs> Brendel can get help. the other one. He's a good swimmer, help. and he took his potion. If the potion doesn't work, that's his own freaking fault. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Bryn it's feels. A, it's a hard lesson in alchemy. Brendel probably got one of the store bought ones. How does recovery of health for an unconscious person work again? Uh, you're gonna wake up in in one d four hours. Four oh. hours. Unless someone gives you a potion from your bag. <laughs> oh, you have potions. I don't have potions. Okay. Uh, okay, so falls in and turns, still unconscious. It is Brendel, so you will just start swimming. Wait a minute, we'll wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> and he swims and he sees Bryn and Falsy. Oh, thank goodness Falsy's okay. Uh, um, please, I-, I-, I will drive this sub with, with, with Falsy. Why don't you and Shaft take the second one? Uh... No, this one's not broken. Thanks. Got here first. Well, <laughs> perhaps you could clear clear the coral with, with, with the sub from the second one, and, and Shaft and I can get in it. All right, sure. And to the top with, with Shaft. <laughs> oh, shit. What? <laughs> oh, well, we're all right on top of each other. I'll, I'll stop short. <laughs> so so Brendan Falsey are actually in the sub. I don't think, oh, okay. Bryn, you didn't close the hatch. I didn't yet, close right? so it. The hatch, the hatch is open. open. So I'm looking over at that other other sub, and does it look like it's, I mean, as I quickly swim around the corner and I glance over there, does it look functional? So you you just see that the this kind of pile of coral that's collapsed from the ceiling, it's kind of um, 
it's pinned one side of it, so like it's one side of its legs, and kind of one claw is kind of half half covered by by the rubble. But otherwise, it looks um, like you could you could probably still get into the hatch. Okay, I'll um, I'll say I'll go for the other one, but you got to help me clear this crap off of it. Okay, or you could hop into this one. It's okay. I'll I'll go with Brendel. Okay. So then, so then I shut the hatch when he says that. Hatch okay. is shut. <laughs> Well, Brent, it is it is your turn now. So remember, you have you get two lever actions per turn. Oh, right. Well, can we just hand wave me shutting the hatch on him because it's funny? Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> hatch is closed. <laughs> I go. I'll go get the other click. Click. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I'm going to move the lever to crawl up to the coral because I need to be closer, right? And then. Um, yeah, just a little bit. And then give me a claw attack on whatever. All right, so both claws kind of lash out. So uh, it's a d20 plus 8. So that's 21. Okay, so one of the claws definitely hits. Why don't you roll the second one? Critical fail. Okay, so the, your, your, that <laughs> second claw, it distends like you you did before, actually. You did the same thing. I and it always distends do it. <laughs> and it goes limp. But the first one, though, uh, I think the damage was like 3d6 plus 6 or something. 3d6 plus 6. On the one that hit, you're saying? Yeah, the one that hit. I mean, I could look it up, but let's just let's go for it. 11 plus 6, 17. Okay, you are able to snip out some of this this coral and free uh, the second sub's legs. But now I have a bad claw. Oh, well. But now you have one bad claw, yeah. All right, I can't say anything because no one's around to hear me, so... Brendel... <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> swims up, unlatches, and gets into the second sub. And uh, Shaft, back to the top. I think I can make it almost there. You okay? You're in. You just say you're you're in. Okay. So I jump in. We shut the hatch. Okay. And I take a deep breath for a second. Make sure everything looks okay. It doesn't look like there's any water coming in anywhere. No, it doesn't look anything like it's leaking at all. And then say, okay, let's see if we can go get Gozer. I see the big hole in the wall over there. To Brendel. Bren obviously doesn't hear this. Yeah. Can I What's see Brindle him say? turning his thing around? Like, did you get the two lever movements, or? Uh, not quite, because it would kind of shaft's whole move just to get in and, and close okay. up. Okay. Brendel, he's like, I, I think, I think she's gone. I, I, we, I think we should get out of here. I mean, Falzerin's in no state to stick around. Uh, Brendel, take care of Falzerin. We can just go see. I mean, if nothing else, we'll get her body. I mean, we're safe in here now. If if, if that's what you think is best, but this whole place is collapsing around us. Does it still? Does it still see coral falling? And big hunks? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're probably right, Brendel. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you convinced me. <laughs> if, if, if Gozer dies, it's all your fault. <laughs> oh, man. Unless... Unless... Unless does it look like it's still we still have some time? I mean, is it just big hunks falling every once in a while? Yeah, it's just cracking? kind of the similar big big chunks falling. It's not like it's a complete and absolute collapse. Or currently, I say that to him, and then I go ahead and shift it and start going down towards the hole, towards Gozer's towards body? where Gozer's body is. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, Bryn, you see you see Shaft piloting his sub, kind of turning around it and moving back towards the way you came to the chamber he's turning he's not going through the little he's not going back down the ramp towards the exit but he's actually going to go back to the chamber that had the giant breathing pod okay yeah he's taking the route I went like the path I went yes okay that's what I was wondering um son of a gun shaft I need a second to figure out what Bryn would do hold on <laughs> oh, I can't even ask Falzerin Bryn's a uh... You could give him a health potion, and then you could ask him. Yeah. <laughs> what? Shh. No, I, that was part. That was my original plan, but then I didn't want to waste my action. But okay, so Bryn's gonna. <laughs> that's that's the way. Uh, that's the way Falzerin thought about me earlier. Yeah, hey, why waste an action on stabilizing him? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I got a bag to pick well, up. Well, I did stabilize him already. <laughs> you did the first time. Bryn looks over at Falzerin's waterlogged body, and she just. She's gonna search for his bag of holding, which was eaten by the <laughs> gas right. 
did the acid damage burn oh, through the bag? That would have been beautiful. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> As you open it and you put your hand in, your hand comes out the bottom. Oh, no. <laughs> spell book's gone and everything. Yeah, spell book. Replacement spell book out the window. <laughs> No, you do find his bag of holding at his waist. I'm going to search for a potion of healing in there. Okay, and you, yep, you do find one. There are many in there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it to him. And I'm also going to take one for myself. Okay, like drink it right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're just the standard uh, 2d4 plus 4, right? 2d4 plus 4 um, for each of us? Yeah, I assume you're going to drink yours first. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> before Falzerin wakes up. <laughs> so I got 10 health back, and Falzerin, you don't get to roll. I'm I giving it to you. Do. No. <laughs> and Bill got 10 as well. Probably would have rolled worse than that anyway. Falzerin, you just gasp awake. Ah, oh, what, what? What's going on? Where, where? Are we in the crab sub again? Yeah, so. Where's Gozer? Um. Well, you remember where she was at. Yeah, did, did we pull her out, and is she in the other sub? I just got in the sub and gave you a potion, okay? okay. All caught up? So, um, I just saw Shaft and Brendel. They made it to the other uh, sub. It's kind of damaged, I don't know. I hacked some coral off the side. This place is falling to bits, and they walked back towards, you know... I, basically, the two tunnels are connected now. They walked back to go try and find Gozer, I'm guessing. What do, you, what do you mean, find Gozer? She's in the collapsed tunnel. Nobody you got don't her out? For, falls her in. You were basically in that tunnel by yourself and got swallowed. Do you remember that? Yeah, I, I just You think we you came back and got her after that? Tried to dig her out. We just got in these crabs and I gave you a health potion. Okay. Falzer doesn't know how long he's been unconscious, right? Keep that in mind. Like he no, could have been I like. No, but I sort of told him what happened. Like we just got in the crab. I said that. I'm making a, a commentary onto how terrible of friends you guys are right now. <laughs> if you read between the lines. Falzer, I saved your hiney. I don't want to hear it right now. Okay. What do you want me to do? Follow Shaft? Falzer didn't say that out loud. That was Bill that said that. Okay. <laughs> But I still say, like, I just saved you. Like, I not only stabilized you and dragged your body like a buoy through this fissure in the wall here, ha- like, hurled you into this crab. Oh. Okay. I'm a little bit pissed that Gozer's probably dead. What do you want me to do? I, I, I'm sorry, Brynn. I didn't, I didn't realize what happened. We just got in the crab. Chef just turned around to go towards Gozer. What do you want me to do? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of drop out of initiative. So as you guys are kind of talking, Shab, you can still be maneuvering the sub, and you're you can easily get it into this chamber and to this kind of collapse section. So he had to like chisel through the collapse, right? Yeah, he would have had to kind of claw his way through a bit. I guess I'll turn my crab so that I can watch him do that. Okay. To see if he even could, you know. Yeah, and he the just kind of slow but steady. These claws are kind of easily uh, breaking through this coral. And he's able to make a path large enough for the sub itself to fit through as well. Bryn will tell Falzerin everything that happened and talk about how Brendel shot some sparklers at his <laughs> airbag and is a completely useless friend that did nothing to save you and he owes me his life. <laughs> well, I mean, th- thank you for saving me, Bryn. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. You owe me at least more than this one health potion I just took from you. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I, you... I would have given it to you, so you're welcome, I guess. Yeah. What do you want to do? You want to follow them? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, I don't know if it's possible that Gozer's still alive. I don't know how much time she would have had, but like Shaft said, maybe we can... Like Shaft said, you heard Shaft say something? Didn't you recount everything that's happened? Including I didn't Shaft hear said. what Shaft said inside his crab with Brendel. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I don't hear what Shaft says to Brendel, okay. right? That's not, I didn't Let hear it. Over. All I know is I didn't hear anything and Shaft turns around in the crab after being in self-preservation mode and not doing anything more than chopping the coral. So he's a little bit hit and miss with me, but I'm observing. Well, um... I think I'm being a realist. I don't think Gozer survived. Okay. 
that that and that may it be. It sucks, and I'm pretty freaking pissed what, about it. What but uh, what do you think Shaft and Brendel are doing? They're going in the opposite direction. My only direction. guess is that they're trying to give her a proper burial and get her body. I'll tell you what we're doing. Well, <laughs> we're gonna go in there. There's, like, there's a comm clear. system we didn't know existed in these crafts. <laughs> no, it's a mental thing. Uh, I'll clear out the coral there where Gozer was and see if I can see. So the water's still what five, six feet? Possibly. It's, still, it's pouring in now. And uh, well, how long would you think that you would want to? be in here doing this like how, how much time do you think would pass until the shaft would be like you know what this is taking far too long because i'm gonna say it takes you know a solid boy how long would it take you to get just into that chamber probably maybe two to five minutes depending on how well uh, proficiently you're operating this machine to cut through the coral just to get back into the chamber with the breathing pod i think uh i think i'm comfortable enough that i know we're not going to drown so as long as the as long as it seems like Nothing's caving in right around us. I'm going to keep on digging until I find her body. And as you're digging in here, kind of behind you, which actually you can't see, or actually here, but more, more, more <laughs> okay. coral is starting Describe to collapse. Describe it further. <laughs> yeah, more coral is kind of starting to collapse. And some of the, the tunnels now are, fo- are fully collapsing in. Okay. And Bryn and Falzern would see that as well. Yes, you would. And you see more kind of chunks fall into the, the chamber with, with the, the, the pools of the breathing pods. So, yeah, Shaft, as you're, you're cutting through, and Brendel is kind of, you know, trying to see behind you out the side views, but he can't, like, you know, but he's, like, pressing his face into the glass, like, trying to, like, see what is actually happening. And he's like, I, this, this, this is taking far, far too long. We, Shaft, please, we have, we have to get out of here. And you're able to dig through and into this tunnel. And, of course, the, the tunnel itself was only five feet wide so you're actually carving like almost a whole new like 10 foot wide tunnel and it takes you about 10 or so minutes to get 10 feet as you're working your way through and you still haven't quite uh seen gozer's body yet would would bryn uh and i have made it no we're not moving we're not moving no we're sitting in the tunnel watching him make it through the wall, and then I wait about ten minutes. I mean, we can discuss if you want, but I I'm not that, going in there. Yeah, I would have. I was gonna look at you. Objected to us sitting there for ten minutes. Well, I was gonna say I'm gonna look at you after we think it's been a long enough period of time and say, "Hey, I know Brendel's your buddy, but we gotta get out of here." And also, in that ten minutes now, these chambers are fully submerged. Yeah, I, I. I don't I think we would have waited 15 minutes, minutes without uh, protesting that I can't see where Brendel and Shaft are. So back up. How long would you wait? Because I would wait like 10 tops. I'd may- wait like two. I would have wanted to follow them. You would have wanted to follow them, but only wait two? I'm so- like Matt. I'm- basically, yeah, I would have said we should follow them. Well, it's hard to backtrack now because you- we're 15 minutes ahead. Well, you can maneuver the... Falzerin can ma- insist on maneuvering the sub back into the chamber with the giant breathing pod. Falzerin to, to can f- get himself knocked out again. <laughs> <laughs> but, Shaft, you also know that, like, another five or f- so feet would be approximately where you last saw Gozer in this tunnel. And based on how long it's taken me to do what I'm doing, five feet's going to take me how much longer? Probably another five or so minutes, uh, possibly shorter, but as, as your claws are just continuing to, to dig and, and, and snip at this coral, like it just keeps almost like it just keeps backfilling. It's like two steps forward, one step back, and it's really slow progress. Okay. Um, Talk to me if you're having an issue, because I'm just yeah. waiting ten minutes and turning around. Bryn, I want to be able to see what they're doing at the very least, so... Let's walk this crab over to the entrance to this this next cavern that they're in so that we can keep you want an eye me on what's happening. To take the crab to this little teeny ten foot barely fits us tunnel that he just dug. Yes. I want to be able to see where Brendel and Shaft are and what's going on. I don't think you fully understand what you missed, Falzerin. We're going to die if we don't turn around. What's what's a twenty feet? What's 20 feet? This gonna, place is collapsing? Okay, if it collapses, 20 feet's not going to get us out safely. We're going to die if it collapses. Were you awake when the coral fell on the air pod and it 
It's not AirPod. That's Apple AirPods. <laughs> What's the name of the thing? <laughs> breathing pod. Breathing pod. Were you here when the coral in the tunnel collapsed on that breathing pod and you saw the damage that it did? Bryn, we've got a long ways to go before we get out of here. You want to get out and swim and join their pod? Feel free. Seriously, So you said that get the out water's all the way want. around? So I, even if I opened the top, it, it would just fill with water. Just yeah, yeah it's, it these, would. After the 10 minutes, completely submerged. Okay, turn it around and go on. I'm getting out of here. I can't do you can't even open part. it to get, yeah. Well, at this point, she's it's just a body. Right? I mean, it's, so she's already So at this point, dead. Bryn's at least inching towards that tunnel through this debate, but there, she didn't go in there. Can I Not see Not unless you did it. Well, I mean, they're turned around anyway, so forget it. Yeah, we're heading back out. As you're kind of coming to the conclusion shaft, kind of your last, like, claw, and you're, you're moving and stirring up the water around you, you kind of see floating just Gozer's necklace kind of bubbling through in, in the water as you're stirring everything up, but still no sign of her body. Okay, I'll see if I can slatch onto it with our, our claw, if I can easily and not take a lot of time, and then go, turn around and go. I'm going to give you a roll. Yeah, go for it. Uh, 11? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll say you kind of miss with the claw, but it gets hung up on one of the eye stalks. <laughs> okay. And and we head out. All right, so we see them turn around, and I'm like, see? Let's go. I just sit there stewing a little bit angry and frustrated. Oh, Bryn's pissed at you. I don't, she's like, why did, why did I bother? So you guys continue out of this this um, this larger chamber with the the smaller breathing pods down to the part of the that's kind of inclined, and you can see that Grimby and his sailor buddy still with those the breathing pods over their faces are still just bobbing in, in the water here. Uh, I mean, as we're, as we're going by, I wouldn't mind trying to latch on to, to yeah. Grimby there if I can snatch him with a. Brent and I would be leading the pack, right? Yeah. Yeah, most likely. I'm going to I'm gonna try to maneuver a claw without even falls or having to say anything and see if we can just drag it, drag one of them. Okay, why don't you... Or, like, uh, grapple it. Yeah, yeah, sure, grapple it, absolutely. Why don't you make a make a, an attack and grapple it? <laughs> you said it's plus eight? Yeah. 21. Okay, yeah, you're, you're able to get your, your left claw kind of reach out and, and grabs onto Grimby. Maybe, yeah, squeeze him a little too tight, but you got him. <laughs> and uh what about uh what about the other sailor buddy oh with because i have two claws you could attempt to grab them both if you want sure i'll try okay and of course in the time you were waiting you could easily have uh fixed the 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 distended claws you you know how to fix it since you had uh you've done it before that's only 13 uh that's still you're able to to latch onto both of these guys do you have anything to say about me grabbing these guys, Falzern? That's what I was going to suggest. G- good job, Bryn. You paid me a fair wage. <laughs> He's a good guy. So you, you guys now just scuttling uh, back down this tunnel as you get to the, the the chamber that you first saw the the other the other three sailors. You see that it's now its entry has collapsed and it's now impassable to get inside of this chamber. Keep moving. Going for the eye holes. And as you keep going, you get, yeah, you get back to those two, dive, those two, uh, to, yeah, the two eye holes that kind of merge into this one path. And you see the, the section on the left is actually caved in as well. But the, the path to the right is still open and clear for the, for the time being. Head right. for the other one. Yeah. Get take, out into the sea. Take that way. And you're able to maneuver, maneuver the sub out of this, this coral skull's right eye and safe from this collapsing coral as you kind of see sections of the the actual skull now are like like what would be the forehead of its skull is kind of starting to cave in and, and crumble as it's starting to lose its shape as this mass of coral is starting to collapse in on itself all right so am i still leading the way like out yeah you guys are now out into open open ocean okay so Bryn's gonna look at falzer and say what time sorry what time of day is it how long was all that that was uh, not very long. I, I don't... It's it's certainly... It's probably like morning, right? Because you guys left right before dawn. Right. And you are... You are... You are... 
at like low enough depths of this ocean that right. you know like your subs are like creaking and groaning under the pressure uh so your eye stalks are really the only thing that's lighting the way in front of you yeah i guess i was just wanting to know like if on the surface it's light out or not you can't tell from this depth so falls are in i think after borrowing these crabs we need to be careful about where we surface and where we leave them. And yeah, I agree. Such. We probably shouldn't go back exactly to the same spot that we entered the water well, because yeah. there might be people roaming around looking. So Shaft's following me. I mean, I would think he'd follow me. Should we go up and see if it's light out yet? Do you have any concept of time right now? I mean, I've I've been unconscious. Um can you cast a spell and figure out if it's sunny out yet? or No. Okay. don't have that spell. Then uh, I'm going to float our sub up. Well, what? if Erica's magic is still in effect, we're going to be surfacing right in the middle of an enormous storm, well, right? I mean, I'm, not, I'm doing a diagonal, like slowly but going right. further okay. away. I'm not So you want right to surface um, after we've traveled away from this a while, but before we get to land? Travel away from the storm while surfacing. Okay, that seems reasonable. I would like to head towards shore, but again, I'm trying not to land, you know, right in the city at the docks. Yeah. We only should took we, two of these crabs. Maybe we, we could leave on them. Heading a bit south of this, of where we entered the water. I don't care north or south. I just I want to leave them on a coast that's maybe abandoned this time of day and walk away without them knowing it was us that took them. Yeah. You guys uh, also know that kind of that, that beach that beach area underneath the cliff that used to have Erica's hut. Mm-hmm. Um, that, you know, very little travel as a lot of, the, as you've learned from, from the people at the end, that people just stay away from Erica. Mm, smart. Yeah. I just had an idea. Maybe we should park these on the beach by <laughs> Erica's hut. <laughs> I'm such a genius. Let's go towards Erica's I'm going to look hut. at Brandel and go, I don't know why they're not moving. Let's just go back to no, the Erica's we're mo- place. No, I'm definitely moving as we're talking. Gosh. We're not just floating in the in the water. I'm saying that we're moving towards the shore. So you're, yes, you're continuously Erica's moving. Beach. Okay. Yeah, I'm not just hovering that there. That brings up um, a point that I wanted to mention, that my message spell, could I... I can't technically see anyone in this sub with Shaft and Brendel, but would I still be able to use it? The text says you point your finger toward a creature within range and whisper a message. How far? Um, I, I can cast it through solid objects. I'm familiar If I'm familiar How far? with the target, no, it is beyond the barrier. So it's 120 feet. Oh, yeah. That yeah, should work, absolutely. right? Yeah. And even, like, if you're kind of looking at your side viewpoint, you see Brendel in the, in the other sub, like, waving at you, like, this look of, like, oh, thank goodness Falzerin's alive. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank goodness Falzerin's alive. Short message, Falzerin. <laughs> Erica's beach. So I'm going to cast it to speak with uh, Brendel. Okay. And it's just, like, the it's that's the whisper one, right? It's, like, a whisper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he can whisper back. Oh, no, he can't whisper back, right? ASMR. He, he can. He can oh, apply. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Yeah. I can say, Brendel... Uh, Bryn and I have decided that probably a secluded uh, place with not a lot of foot traffic is is where, you know, the beach by Erica's place, that's where we're going to head so that we don't run into anyone searching for these stolen crab things. Does that sound like a good plan? Uh, yes, yes, of, of course. Uh, thank goodness you're alive, by the way. Uh, but, yes. but Shaft had the same idea, yes. Oh, great minds think alike. Uh, I believe he actually came to it much quicker than Bryn probably <laughs> <laughs> you little. I was just reading the uh, text of the spell to see if there was a word count limit, but no. Oh so. no! It's like it's like a tweet. <laughs> yeah, you only got two hundred like, forty characters. Because right I'm now. like literally, this is Bryn's like tell them Erica's beach, and then he gives that like whole long speech. She's yeah, just the like, soliloquy. <laughs> I think I think there's something Bryn wanted to say to it. She just wanted to say Erica's beach. I don't, I'm not sure what. Oh uh, yeah, yes. I, uh, I'll I'll inform Shaft that you you two will be doing the same. Okay. Well, I'll see you there. So as you guys kind of continue moving forward and rising up as you're progressing, you you hit the surface and you know kind of behind you, 
after about another two or three minutes of travel, like just this whole structure is now completely collapsed and it just kicks up this bout of, of dust and, and grit in this, making the immediate area cloudy and, and almost unnavigable. But you guys are able to rise kind of up above its effect. And you can see, if you recall on your way in, you kind of saw those uh, like underwater like twisters from mm-hmm. the surface. And you see that actually they have dissipated and they, they appear to be smaller and, and just nice. continually actually shrinking as you get closer to them. And you get up to the surface about where you, you know, you could judge that you had moved far enough to be outside of this storm, but you kind of see the, the wall, like the walls of it, it's almost as this wall of like this torrential downpour of water. And you get to the surface and you guys are kind of bobbing that it, it this wall is just kind of moving like slowly moving towards you in these big dark gray clouds uh, above in the sky everything almost like it's just kind of like spreading out like the storm is moving yeah like this the storm's like area of effect is growing but it does seem its intensity does seem to be dissipating as it's it's as it's growing it's like a hurricane Hmm. okay okay do we get to the beach yeah you guys can 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 you so you guys are just continuing on the surface yeah, is it light out? It is light out. It is, yes, yeah, still only early morning. And how far away are we from the beach? Well, as you get closer to this beach, maybe like 100 or so feet off of off of the beach, you actually see kind of this, this uh, you see a rowboat in the water, and it looks empty, just kind of bobbing on the surface. And then as you approach it, kind of springing from the water, you see this dragonborn. And it's wrestling with what looks like, well, falls are not you know that it's fighting this marrow, which is this kind of this deformed and and twisted type of merfolk. And it just kind of grabs the, the marrow in, in the dragonborn's hands and it, she just opens her mouth and it lets out this bout of fire into this marrow and just roasting it. She kind of let, lets go of it and it just floats dead in the water. And the dragonborn, you spot these strange metallic crabs on the surface of the water. I'm going to uh, climb in the boat and look at the crabs and I, I can see the people inside, right? Yeah, you can see into the front of them, yeah. Uh, I'm going to tentatively wave. <laughs> you would, the, the party in the crabs, you kind of see the dragonborn has like um, kind of like this pouch at her side and it's kind of filled with like what looked like uh, some type of plant kind of overflowing in this this uh, small, like, burlap pouch. Uh, I'm heading towards the shore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the, who this is. It's some dragon-looking creature in a boat. And she looks stuff. friendly. Okay, well. Well, I mean, can 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 we can look out the little window and see this all, right? Can they, yeah. can... I'm sure Brindle's already been waving, so... Bryn looks at Falzern <laughs> and she's like, yeah... <laughs> Bryn looks at Falzer and she's like, I don't think you should trust everyone's waves, remember? Well, oh. Fal- Falzer and you, you being, you were familiar and you immediately recognize this marrow as, as often some of the shores of the Isle of Heraklion are, are plagued and attacked by these marrow. Also from, uh, you glean a little more information than you may would be able to read about from, from that special friend of yours as well about this specific race. And you do know that they are generally an evil creature. Marrows, not... The marrow. Yeah. Falzer, do you have any ideas here? Let's I stay mean, in the crab or what? You make a good point. I was going to sink this not thing and who... swim to the shore. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, marrows... These marrow typically aren't helpful or friendly. Um, they're not nice. So, the fact that this this person just killed one and probably bodes well but why don't we just stay in this thing and okay uh for a little bit of extra protection i mean i think we should still sink them later i don't want to be busted sure sure but you know maybe this person's what if they attack us this is kind of can we tell if this person is female or male how many boobs does she see yeah any (laughs) sacks egg sacks (laughs) i suppose a dragonborn would probably have some type of Cleavage, a uh, female dragonborn, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay. So the dragonborn. Has so, Shaft, cleave. though, you were just continuing with your sub to the shore, right? Yeah, I mean, I see it. We, it's we a, follow it's a thing. after our conversation. Yeah, but after what I just saw, 
I'm not I'm not going on. I'm getting to land. Yeah. What is the Dragonborn doing? So I'm watching them. I guess they're going headed towards land. So I did what I needed to do here. So I will row towards land as well. And, and yes, it does appear that female Dragonborns have cleavage. Of course they do. Confirmed. According to Google image search. <laughs> <laughs> Your crowds kind of walk up onto this this um, more rocky beach as you are kind of right next to, to the cliff, right, that had uh, Erica's shack. And you can see now at the bottom of this cliff what the, the, the smoldered remains of it now that have collapsed fully and landed down at 60 feet at the bottom of this cliff kind of. This ruin, wooden ruin now, and, and charred ruin in the water. And kind of quickly behind you, the dragonborn in, in her boat makes landfall as well. I'm getting out of that damn barrel and uh, popping out onto the, the shore and, and start to walk along and sit down for a minute just to sort of get my bearings while this uh, dragonborn comes and puts its uh, boat up next to us. Yeah, I'm curious as to what these things are and what you guys are doing. So I'm just checking you out. I uh, s- sort of step back a minute. Yeah, well met. And you are? My name is Shakara. And and you? Isn't it Shakira? Shakara. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I, th- I got a little water in my ears still. <laughs> Uh, great first impression there, Brit. Yeah, Shakara. She's she's in a whole other place right now. Shakara from where? Shakara from Altenshik. Near Altenshik, anyway. What are you doing out here in a boat killing stuff? You see the storm? This place is crazy. Well, I was on a quest to find some ingredients uh, for a friend of mine. Ah. Oh. Well, you can ask Brindle here. He knows all about ingredients. He can tell you which ones don't work. Is yes, I, so? I'm. I'm quite curious of what, what, what would they be using these ingredients for? Some type of potion, maybe. Well, I came across this black goo, and I took it to my friend, and my friend is trying to figure out its purpose and what it does. My my goodness, we we, we we've encountered the same. The same goo. Oh, you have. Yes, I am afraid I haven't made, I haven't been able to make heads or tails of what to do with it myself. This this friend of yours, he seems very proficient. Yeah, yes, he's still working on it. He hasn't quite discovered much yet, but he's only had it a short time. Have you stuck it in anything's eye before? No, heaven! Why would I do that? Hey, you guys, ah, want me to catch exactly. a rabbit? Why? Why are you catching a rabbit? What has the rabbit done um, to you? Um, long story. And Bryn actually walks away from them talking. I- I'm sorry, did I offend her? Well, probably, but she gets offended pretty easy. She can be grumpy sometimes. I apologize for her. I'm I'm Falzerin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Falzerin. And I look at Shaft and I'm like, waiting for him to tell me his name. <laughs> I'm not going to. And I, I say, you're going to have to... You're going to have to excuse us. We've just lost a dear friend of ours. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Bryn, Bryn's, uh, Bryn's walked over to a rock on the beach and is sitting down and rubbing the headband in her fingers and has a hand on the handprint on her chest. So, I don't think there's much we can do. I think Gozer's gone for sure. I am sorry to hear that. I will say a prayer for her. Bryn... You actually kind of notice on your, your breast plate there that the, the handprint, it seems faded a little bit. <sighs> That's weird. Uh, okay, so she puts her hand down in the sand and, like, tries to make it darker again and, like, reinforce the handprint from Ciari. It, uh, it doesn't appear to do anything like that. Okay, well, she's trying. Well, guys... Job's done. Yeah. Let's head out. What about what about these two that we rescued here? Oh yeah, oh, I forgot my. all about Cappy over there. Have, <laughs> have you ever come across these these things that are stuck to their faces? Uh, you said your name was uh, Shikara. Shika- Shikara, yes. Have I've not seen anything like this, have I, Leland? You have. Oh, 
But I haven't in- interacted with them. No. You haven't quite seen something like this as close as you have. I, I glimpsed it once, but I don't know what they are. Why don't we get them out of these claws and drag them onto the beach here? I mean, I think these things thrive in the water. Yes, yeah, let me help you. And I go over and I start to try and get one of them off the claw. And I um, put my hands on either side of his head. And I close my eyes. And I give him five points of health. Which one? Uh, whichever one was closer to me. Whichever one looked more frail. Okay. Above 50%, it's Grimby. Below, it's his sailor buddy. 91. So you pull Grimby. <laughs> you, you you give him some healing. Yeah. That and I'm going to see if I can healing. just lift the thing off his face or if it's, like, attached or if I can, like, gently. Bryn's going to wander back over because she sees, uh, she likes Grimby, so she sees her doing this. And so, Shakara, you, like, you now see that it has one of its tentacles, like, wrapped around Grimby's neck and a smaller one down his throat. So as you kind of pull it, there's some resistance more from the one that's around his neck, right? It has a and like the suction cups, cups of its tentacles. So if you wanted to get, I don't know how forceful you're doing. You just like kind of like a test, a test, a tentative tug kind of thing. Or is that what you're doing? Yeah, just a tentative tug, and then I'm going to. Um, and I, I guess it doesn't come off. It doesn't come off, no. So I'll take my, uh, pull my dagger out, and kind of see if I can, s- kind of slip the dagger between Grimby's neck and the tentacle around it without hurting Grimby and try and kind of pry. Okay, and as you do, you kind of see like in the center of these suction cups, they're kind of what look like these like spines, like these uh, narrow like spiky things that have have been embedded into Grimby's neck. Like very, very fine, like a a needle, right? And as you pull, you're able to to pull the bottom of this this tentacle kind of off of Grimby and kind of leaving like these little pinpricks in his skin, right? Little beads of, of... of red from where they've you've pulled them out of out of his neck and you're able to get the unwrap this tentacle very carefully away from his from his neck and if you're if you give another pull you can kind of gently pull the the, the tentacle out of Grimby's mouth and get this thing off of him okay and then once i get it off i'm going to carefully place it somewhere away from the water so it can't just scurry and see and i'm going to hope it doesn't move when i put it down well, it is kind of rig- like its tentacles are like wriggling, okay, wriggling as you have it in your hands. Once the tentacle is free of Grimby, the, the spines kind of retract back into the suction cups of this tentacle. And it's kind of now like writhing and trying to grasp you, your like your arms, whatever's holding it. I'm going to put it on the beach and stab my dagger in it. I was going to say, can Bryn attack it? Bryn would attack yeah. it. And you're d- just one dagger right into it and its yep. body kind of deflates. You know, kind of hear this, like, you know, with a balloon deflating, like this of air that kind of <laughs> escapes from his body and it and you've you've killed it and Grimby you kind of gasp now coughing sits up and he he, he's, he comes to I uh, where uh, where be we you're, you're on the beach just calm down you're safe for now I, I the storm where, where where would be the storm the storm's out in the water you're on the beach you're on land hey hey Grimby Grimby Hey, it's Bryn, remember me? I I, I, I worked I, with I, you a little bit. Um, your ship sank. You're okay, we're on the beach. Hey, the, the last thing I remember was getting the last of the crew overboard in the, in, in, in the, in the lifeboats, and I went, I went down with me ship. Did not expect to survive. Well, we got you, buddy. You're, you're our, you are healed, my friend. I am. It'd be much appreciated, I dare you. I'm going to get up and... I'm going to put the thing in my bag with the other stuff that I had. And I'm going to go try and, and do the same thing to the other guy. Okay, and you're you're able to get get his, his, his crew free. Is, is this, this be the only, the last ones, the last survivors? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, we, we couldn't save anyone more. else. Yeah, at this point, they're all dead. The, we were underwater in, in this this cave and it's all collapsed i'm i'm sorry captain chum i mean we lost a friend as well it's been a it's been a terrible day i the, the sea she she take too many souls today hi 
and he, you know, he's like kind of tending to his, his crew. He's like, hey, Jerry, I, I happy you survived me, mate. He kind of gets him to his feet and, you know, dusts him off. Well, what, where, where are, where are we? Well, the nearest town is, uh, Pisces. Port Randis, or Pisces, sorry. Right yeah, back we're, there. we're kind of on the northern end of Pisces here, some beach that is kind of less traveled. Uh, it's a long story story we'll tell you another time let's just let's let's get dried off we can head back to Pisces by the way we found these big crab things somebody must have stole them yeah and uh yeah we we found them and, and we're taking them back to Pisces but they're starting to have some mechanical problems we'll just leave them here hey shaft uh maybe we could return these you know and say we found them I don't know how to drive these things I mean we barely made it back to shore Bryn uh, I I I feel a bit wary of getting in these these broken things and and risking it. I I think we'd just leave well, them here. Well, I mean, I could just and use I, a little coin is all I'm I saying. Okay, wait. we'll give them an anonymous tip that we heard some someone say something. And, yeah, okay. I must say I was quite cantankerous when you didn't show up that morning, but thank the gods you weren't on me ship. Me and Jerry, Jerry, we can we'll get back to Pisces and we can let whomever owns these machines know that they're here. Sounds like a great that, idea. That would be great, Grimby. You're such a great guy. Glad that you made it. That does sound like a good idea, yes. Hey, hey. We thank you. We thank you once again. That's okay. You can buy us uh, some drinks and stuff when we get back to Pisces. Hey, any any boat I be captain in, you all have free passage, I tell you. Oh, that's good. Shaft, we're going to Pisces? Yes, I was wondering, uh, Brendel, was it? Oh. Uh, since you've had dealings with this black goo, would you mind coming talking to my friend about it? Why, why, why yes, I would, I would actually insist on it. That sounds great. Where, where's your friend? In Pisces. He has a shop there. Okay, fine, I guess we're going to Pisces. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind going somewhere to kind of unpack everything that's happened today and... And what, what, get some rest. What is, what is the name of your your friend, if I may ask? Campbell. And he uh, he he has a he has a shop in Pisces. Yes, an alchemy shop. Oh, it's right up your alley, there, Brendel. Why, why, yes, I, I I'm wondering if it is perhaps this the same shop that we procured these defective water breathing potions from. Yeah, I still have mine. I want to take it back. I want a refund. It doesn't sound like something Campbell would do to make a defective potion. He is rather proficient. Well, let's go back and see if this Campbell guy is the guy that sold it to us. I'd like to have a word. I mean, maybe your defective potion was one Brendel made. You ever think of that? Did you make my defective potion, Brendel? Well, I, 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 three of them I, I did craft myself. I, I, I'm not quite sure which ones I gave to each of you, but... It is my understanding that potion crafting can be quite tricky. Uh, yes, that, that is true. Uh, I mean, perhaps we could test test them all. Do we want to test them all? I, I do not know. Yeah, I think I think since we paid for them, uh, the minimum you could do is make sure they work. Let's go back and see your buddy Campbell. Well, I mean, if, if we want to test him, we can do that in the water right here, or we can go back to Pisces. Bryn starts walking. Shh, she's not going swimming after this. No, I'm not getting back in the water either, and I start walking too. Okay, and so so Grimby and, and Jerry, though they have already kind of started their way as you guys, kind of lagging behind and having this conversation. Are you doing anything with the crab subs at all? Um, I'm going to grab the necklace. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Well, uh. That's why I grab it, cause Shaft's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the necklace, and uh, now I've got a headband, a necklace. Looking pretty. Wait, this necklace would be pretty big, wouldn't it? Cause she's big. She's a big girl. There's an orc tusk and there's some uh, bones from the um, ogre, and the pearl from Thuff. Pearl. Like yeah, it would look quite cool. odd with me wearing it, right? Most likely. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stuff it in my pack for now. But do I see Bryn uh, do this? I would assume. It's yeah, you can see me secret. hop on the thing and grab it. Bryn, I'm glad that you're. You're taking that for Gozer. I think she would want you to keep it safe. Yeah, she she doesn't say anything. She just nods her head and 
keeps walking. And that's our show. Our intro and outro music was created by Josh Jarvis. For your own musical inquiries, contact jamesmercymusic at gmail.com. All other music and ambient noise is courtesy of tabletopaudio.com. The Encouragement Party is sponsored by Critical Hit Design. Visit criticalhitdesign.com for all of your graphic design needs. You can find more info on the characters and world at encouragementparty.com. Enjoying the show? Have any questions or rules corrections? Email us, contact at encouragementparty.com, or reach out on social media. The Encouragement Party on Facebook and Instagram at EncouragablePar on Twitter, using the hashtag AfterPartyIP for a shout-out during our behind-the-screen after-party episodes that drop every fourth release. Happy adventuring!